How do I connect my CK TIG torch to my TIG machine? The first thing we're gonna go through is what kind of torch are we putting on it? This is a CK17 torch, which means we're gonna have the smaller threaded power connector. And that is gonna give this adapter the first three digits of the part number, which are SL2. If it were the CK26 torch, it would be an SL8. The next thing we're gonna have to worry about is the connector for the machine. This ESAB 200 IP Pro uses a DINS 35 connector. That's gonna give the next two digits of the part number 35. That would make this an SL2 35. How is the gas getting into the connector and into the torch? Well, this machine has a separate gas solenoid, therefore meaning it is not a gas through DINS, so the gas is not coming through the DINS connector, like on some other machines I'll show you here in a bit. So we will need this connector. This is an SL2-35. For other gas hookups, for example, on this Canoweld 201 Pulse D, it is gonna have a quick connect. So that is gonna give it a part number of SL2-35, because it's a DINS-35, QD with a quick disconnect. On this Miller, this is the 220 ACDC. If we were to put a CK torch on it, say CK17, that would be SL2. And it uses a DINS 25 connector. It's a little smaller. So that would be an SL2 25. And because it is a gas through DINS, there's no gas port on the front of the machine, that would make it an SL2 25M.